The evening star is shining bright So make a wish and hold on tight There's magic in the air tonight in the end, it's fine, eh? Our actions are affecting more and more species day by day. Little do we realize that by driving them to extinction, we really increase our struggle on the planet. The frog is an important part of the food chain. You break this link and you invite trouble. Measures to rescue the frog from danger have started in the form of various campaigns. Uh, because uh, it takes a lot of time for monitoring to see that okay, this area will have a cross section of all the species. In Goa, it all started when two brothers pondered over the problem. In the five years ago, as I said, we were just two of us, my brother and I, and uh, we put up these comments of ours and what people were saying to the group. So for the first meeting, we had 20 people. And that has grown to last year we had about 200 people participating. A lot of credit to the government, uh, forest department for doing so much because uh, they have been encouraged. So whenever they go on raids, we are there to back them up to make sure that the politicians don't interfere with investigations. direct <laughs> I had a number of times where politicians have interfered at the crime scene. Uh, in one case in Margao, a youth congress leader came and interfered in the, in the confiscation of the wild animals being picked up. Uh, as recently as a month, uh, a person close to the forest minister was interfering in the investigation when we caught 60 frogs at a person's house. So definitely there's a lot of political interference. They are not scared to say uh, that yeah. we are afraid of them. We actually are now enough of people who can actually stand up and say that enough is enough. We are going to protect the animals at any cost. No political interference. We can understand the importance of frogs to a simple equation. Place the frog in the middle, to its left extreme put a snake, and at its right insects. If you take away the frog, the snake won't have its food, and there won't be anyone to eat the insects either. The result? Chaos in the food chain. Uh, I should confess here that when I was a kid, I used to get scared of frogs. So I used to find them like a slimy creature who can jump on you anytime, anywhere. But when I started growing up, I realized that there are no frogs in my backyard anymore because the, the obvious reason of the habitat destruction, there are no green patches, no ponds for them to grow and be in the environment. So now a lot of care and concern for them and my attitude towards health and health has gone thorough change. The frog species under threat are the Indian bullfrog, the Jordan's bullfrog, the Indian pond frog, grass frog and common Indian toad. I have been uh, studying uh, amphibians uh, for the last uh, 10 years, but basically as a researcher. Uh, I decided to join the campaign because I wanted to fuse the gap between hardcore scientific research about amphibians uh, and frogs in particular and get them at grassroots level where people, uh, lay people actually understood the importance of frogs and other amphibians in the state of Goa. Uh, well, we have uh, initiated a campaign which is called uh, Clicker Crook Campaign. And, uh, it's, it's a photography competition. Uh, which aims at uh, trying to create interest amongst people to start looking at frogs. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Kiss a frog, kiss a prince. Love a frog, love a prince. Kill a frog, kill a prince. Will you want the future to hear a frog's only in fairy tale?